small country, there are several uh, districts without senior secondary school. Dobi Kwabinja happened to be one. In Greater Accra, there are several of them. In Ghana, over 46 schools, 46 districts don't have senior secondary schools. So it came to Parliament, and there was this discussion about some loan. The then government wanted to build some senior high school. Masa, there were two chumps of this senior high school. One area is for people from Ghana government building the school, and the other area being financed by uh, World Bank. Believe me, try and do your own research and check out and see whether the 20 that the World Bank guys decided to board, which constituency or which district it went to. In greater, the whole greater Accra, how many of the 20 the World Bank wanted to board came to greater Accra? Only have it two. The rest of the others that the government government wanted to build, look, there are areas where they only dig a, a sword cutting, and that is the end. Ajua Safo, what she said was that she was the one that helped or facilitated for this school to be built in the area where she was making that particular conference, which is atomic area. What she did was to talk to several other people, not necessarily any other. I mean, she went to Professor Nyako, who is the Director General of Ghana, Atomic energy. There are correspondent to show. I have the copy of the correspondent to show the response that the correspondent uh, President also gave, asking her to look for a land and do a site plan. That was after a discussion with the minister in charge of education, Ms. Nana Upuku Achibai. That once you're able to get a land, we'll be able to make sure we we'll put up this particular edifice for you. Adwa insisted she doesn't want Ghana government one, she wants the World Bank one. After her own discussion earlier with certain friends and relations that she got it at the World Bank. So they make sure at least one place got to her. When it got to her, her role was as an MP for the area, all that she could do to ensure that uh, the project is completed. That's what she did. Now, today, NDC guys are saying nobody should take credit, including World Bank people, nobody should take credit. And uh, it was a project built by John Draman Mahama. It was a loan facility. And that facility will be paid by yourself and then your future unborn generation. So whatever thing that they are saying, they are doing it out of desperation. Today we hear the issued a statement. And the statement is that Honorable has issued a statement that she's pleading with them. She never said that. Uh, she's pleading with them that she will never say that again. Please, take it from me today. Honorable has never and never. Those of us in the constituents, I'm a doctor. <laughs> I mean, I know what I have up. I'm telling you, Honorable is saying that, look, we of the constituents are saying that we are 100% behind her, will continue to be behind her, and will make sure whatever thing that she said that particular day at the delegate conference, will stand by it. Because we all, some of us were part of the team that went in demarcating the plot for that particular project. So why are we going to denounce it? You know, when for somebody says, I lobbied from the World Bank, it sometimes pains me when people don't understand the issue of the World Bank. The only thing the World Bank is only in New York. Of course, that's where she went to school. Opposite her school, George Washington, GC. That's a World Bank burden. She has a lot of friends in there. When it comes to Ghana, we have the office here in Ghana. Initially, she went to the people here in Ghana and said, Lord, there's this project or this man that has come to Ghana. You're going to build some school. Can you help us get one in my constituency? Because in my constituency, I don't have any school there. Then the people say, Please kindly go to the government because the money will be given to the government. Once you give it to the government, you can then go through that. He went further to talk to the government. And they were demanding that she get a piece of land, which she was able to acquire. Once she was able to acquire the land, because the party was in power, she gave it out to the, uh, the, uh, the assembly, which of course is the government. And they put up the body. So we are not saying that we are the one that bought the body. No way. If you go there now, one of the houses they have there, the student houses. It's called, it was named after her. Was it by chance that uh, we have chiefs in the constituency, we have leaders in the constituency, we have even the Speaker of Parliament in the constituency? How come that house was named after Adwasafo? It tells you she played a bigger role in making sure that structure was put there. <laughs>